The Good Doctor, a popular medical drama series, has been confirmed for a seventh season, but there have been numerous delays and cast changes affecting the news about it. The show revolves around Dr. Sean Murphy, a brilliant young surgeon with autism and savant syndrome. Despite his social challenges, he navigates his medical career at San Jose Saint Bonaventure Hospital with the help and support of fellow doctors and residents. Similar to other medical dramas like Grey's Anatomy and ER, The Good Doctor has seen its fair share of character deaths and departures. The storyline has expanded beyond the hospital, delving into Sean's personal life, including his marriage and the birth of his child, in previous seasons. Fans are eagerly awaiting updates on Season 7, especially since Season 6 ended with significant cliffhangers. This ensemble show offers intriguing storylines for all its characters, making it a compelling watch for viewers. We shouldn't have saved his face. We have limited resources and we're even more limited in our personal capacity to determine who is deserving, so we make a choice to treat everyone the same. The latest news about The Good Doctor Season 7 is both sad and interesting. Actor Hill Harper, who plays Dr. Marcus Andrews on the show, has announced his campaign to run for the Senate in Michigan. He'll be running against Representative Alyssa Slotkin to replace retiring Senator Debbie Stabano. Despite Harper's impressive educational background, including Harvard Law School and Brown University, this means that it's unlikely he'll be returning to the cast for Season 7 so fans may have to say goodbye to Dr. Andrews in the upcoming season. More news about The Good Doctor Season 7 adds to the disappointment, as actor Brandon Laraquente, who played Danny, is also leaving the series after Season 6. What's particularly disheartening is that Hill Harper's character, Dr. Andrews, one of the few remaining characters from the first season, may not return either. In the season 6 finale, Dr. Andrews resigned as president of San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital because the board gave him an ultimatum between his job and nurse Dallasay Villanueva. It's unclear whether Harper's Senate campaign led to his character's exit or if it happened separately, so fans are left wondering about Dr. Andrews' fate in the upcoming season. So is this season officially confirmed or not? The good news for fans of The Good Doctor is that the show has officially been renewed for season 7, as announced by ABC in April 2023, just before the season 6 finale aired in May. However, there's a downside as well. Season 7 is likely to face delays because of the 2023 Writers Guild strike, which means that there are no scripts ready for production. Moreover, there are rumours that the Screen Actors Guild might also go on a strike in July 2023, which could lead to further delays in the production of the new season. According to Variety, ABC has decided to delay all of its scripted shows, including The Good Doctor Season 7. This means that the usual fall premiere for the new season won't happen as planned. Unfortunately, there's no news yet on when Season 7 will be released because production can't start until the demands of the Writers Guild strike are met and there's a possibility of a Screen Actors Guild strike as well. This delay could mean that fans may have to wait until 2024 to see The Good Doctor Season 7 on TV, so even though it's confirmed to be happening, it's going to take longer than usual for the new season to come out. By the way guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and for more updates, subscribe to our channel. With that, let's take a look at the story of The Good Doctor Season 7. Due to the Writers Guild of America strike, there is no information available about the plot of The Good Doctor Season 7. However, there are some significant cliffhangers from Season 6 that need addressing. In Season 7, we can expect to see Sean and Leah navigating life with a newborn baby, and Sean may have questions about why Glassman wasn't there for the birth. Additionally, San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital will have to deal with the aftermath of two major departures, Dr. Perez, who left to seek help for opioid addiction, and Dr. Andrews, who chose love over his role as hospital president with Nurse Vilnerva. These storylines are likely to be explored in the upcoming season, but we'll have to wait for more details due to the strike. As for The Good Doctor Season 7, it's uncertain whether new characters will replace Dr. Perez as a resident or who will be elected as the new hospital president after Dr. Andrews' departure. However, it appears that the main storylines will revolve around Sean adapting to fatherhood and how the new president's leadership will impact San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital. These significant changes are likely to bring a lot of drama to Sean's life and given his difficulty with change, it promises to be an intense season. One of the most surprising pieces of news regarding The Good Doctor Season 7 is the departure of several characters just before the new season begins. 
Brandon Laraquente, who played Danny, is confirmed to be leaving the show after season 6. His character left to return to Texas and seek help for addiction recovery from his family. There's also uncertainty about other cast changes, but it strongly appears that Hill Harper won't be a part of season 7. This is because his character, Dr. Andrews, resigned from San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital and Harper is running for the Senate. So, fans can expect some significant shifts in the cast lineup as the new season unfolds. In season 7, some familiar faces will be returning. Freddie Highmore will be back in the main role as Dr. Sean Murphy, and Paige Spara will reprise her role as Leia. Richard Schiff will return as Dr. Aaron Glassman, and Fiona Gubelman will continue as Dr. Morgan Resnick. Christina Chang is set to reprise her role as Dr. Audrey Lim, and Will Yun Lee will be back as Dr. Alex Park. Additionally, new additions to the cast include Noah Galvin as Dr. Asher Woke, Bria Henderson as Dr. Jordan Allen, and Chuki Modi as Dr. Jared Carlo. So, while some characters are leaving, there are still plenty of familiar faces to look forward to in Season 7. On the other side, The Good Doctor could lose another star who announces that they'll be running for the US Senate just as Season 7 prepares to film. Hill Harper, known for his roles in shows like CSI NY and Limitless, has officially declared his candidacy for the United States Senate in Michigan. He's running against Representative Alyssa Slotkin in the aim of replacing the retiring Senator Debbie Stabenow. Harper is a highly educated individual, having graduated from Brown University and Harvard Law School. Before his role in The Good Doctor, he was recognized for his portrayals of Dr. Sheldon Hawkes in CSI NY and Agent Spellman Boyle in Limitless. Will Hill Harper's Senate campaign affect his future on The Good Doctor? Hill Harper's campaign for the US Senate is a significant time commitment that is likely to impact his future on The Good Doctor. His character, Dr. Marcus Andrews, has had various roles on the show, such as Chief of Surgery, Hospital President and Attending Surgeon. Since The Good Doctor is primarily filmed in Vancouver, Harper's Senate campaign in Michigan will probably prevent him from returning to the show, as he'll need to stay in the state for several months. Hill Harper's decision to run for Senate wasn't sudden, he had been planning it for a while. It's possible that the series had already prepared for his potential departure. In the season 6 finale of The Good Doctor, Dr. Marcus Andrews resigned as hospital president, likely setting the stage for his absence in season 7 as Harper focuses on his Senate campaign in Michigan. This would make him the latest cast member to leave following Brandon. Lara Quente, who departed after season 6 to work on a new show produced by Dick Wolf. And there you have it, a glimpse into what's brewing for The Good Doctor Season 7. As the show navigates through cast changes, political ambitions and uncertain release dates, there's still plenty to look forward to. Will Sean and Leah successfully tackle parenthood? How will the new president shake things up at San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital? And most importantly, will Dr. Marcus Andrews bid farewell for good? Let me know in the comments section below.